Hello, my name is Brandon from the IT Guy Next Door. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to select all the different audio outputs from your Windows 10 PC. Now, if you're like me, you have a lot of audio outputs that you can send sound through. I have wireless headphones, I have wired headphones, I have a set of speakers on my desk, and it can be a little confusing trying to get audio to play from each of these devices when I want it to. However, if we come down here to start, and there's a little speaker icon, give that a click, and then an up arrow. This is a list of every single audio output that our computer has. Right now we can see that the headphones, Bose QC35 Stereo, is currently selected. That means that all of the sound from my computer is being sent through my wireless headphones. However, if I want to start playing sound through my desktop speakers, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select the Edifier Monitors output on my screen. And when I click that, we can see that it becomes selected and all of the sound is gonna be piped out through my edifier monitors on my desk. Now, this list is gonna be pretty big and long and it's a little confusing to navigate at first, so let's organize this a little bit and make it easier for the future. To do so, click on Start and type in Control, and then click on Control Panel. Once that opens up, come to the search bar and type Sound and then click the sound option on your screen. This box right here is a full list of all of our audio outputs on our computer. We can see I've got my Bose headphones right here, we've got my computer monitor, we've got my Edifier speakers right here, and a full list of other things that I really don't need. To make one disappear from the list and completely disable it, we're gonna click on it, right click, and select disable. I also don't use the digital output on my uh, motherboard, which is usually the little optical cable. I'm going to click on that, right click, and disable that. So now, having disabled those, when I come down here and click the speaker icon and the up arrow, we can see that I no longer have my LG HDR 4K screen on the list, nor do we have the digital output anymore. So it makes it a lot easier to navigate. To take it a step further, if you right click on a device and select properties, you can give it a custom name and you can even change the icon if you like, though the icon doesn't show up in the taskbar or anything like that. But it is very easy. I pulled a picture from the internet of my speakers, turned it into an icon file and saved it in C colon slash icons and browsed to that file from here. This way, when I come down here and click on these, I know exactly which speakers I'm enabling. So you might name an output your Yamaha receiver or your JBL headphones. You do want to be careful though as you're disabling devices because some of these are used behind the scenes. For example, I do like to play video games on my computer downstairs and if I disable the Steam streaming speakers, that means that my video games no longer get any sound downstairs out of my TV. So some of these do do work behind the scenes and so if you're gonna start disabling devices like crazy, do one at a time. And if you see that you're not having any problems anywhere in the house, feel free to disable it. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a like and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more IT tips from your friendly IT guy next door. Thanks and take care.